What is a generalized motor program? A generalized motor program or motor program is a set of instructions to the nervous system to execute a motor command. A generalized motor program is sometimes also simply called a motor program or a motor plan or a motor command. These instructions tell the body how to move. For instance, how to hit a golf ball, how to catch a ball, how to write, how to brush your teeth. They comprise two key elements. First, the GMP or Generalized Motor Program has invariant features, which will be discussed in a subsequent video. Second, the GMP also has variant features, which will also be discussed in a subsequent video. One of the interesting ideas about motor program theory is it suggests that motor programs or movements are specified in advance of the movement. In a seminal study, Clapp and Irwin had people make a series of increasingly more complex movements. And what was interesting about their results, they found that if you compared movement time and reaction time, if you had people make a very simple movement, they had a reaction time of about here and a movement time of about here. And as movement complexity increased, response duration also increased, but so did reaction time, which was interesting, because you might wonder why that would be the case. And again, in the even more complex movement, movement condition, the movement was longer, but reaction time increased again. What they found then is that this relationship suggested something interesting. It suggested that people were planning their movements in advance of movement onset, that there must be some sort of underlying motor program that exists. Perhaps more convincingly, in a later study, Wadman and colleagues looked at EMG, or electromyography, so the electrical contraction of the muscle. And what they found is when people made reaching movements, there was an EMG pattern in the muscles where there was an initial burst to get moving, a braking movement, and then some small corrections. That in itself wasn't too exciting. What was exciting in Wadman's study is that when people had the movement blocked, so they were about to start this movement, the pattern of EMG was similar, even though no movement had actually been made. So this suggests, again, the fact that the the fact that the brain was sending commands to the muscles, even for a blocked movement, suggests strongly that motor programs exist.